Trent Entz. My wife's name is Tanya Entz. Uh, her and I have two companies, one in Martinsville, Saskatchewan, called Smokehouse Meats and Deli. And that's our retail butcher shop, where we do retail sales and custom processing. Uh, the other one is here at the farm, and that's called TNT Abattoir, uh, where we do custom slaughter, cutting and wrapping, and also um, slaughter and cutting and wrapping to supply the store in town. We've been using the EcoDrum pretty well since we opened the abattoir. We, um, we built the abattoir with the EcoDrum in mind as our sort of our answer for waste disposal. And so that's been since March of this year, and it's now September. So, close to half a year. We are putting into the EcoDrum right now uh, about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds per bin. When we dump that bin in, uh, then we dump in a similar size bin of wood shavings. And it's shavings from making wood posts, fence posts. We're getting the outer part. Uh, it's economical, it's highly effective, and the bacteria that we're wanting to grow inside the eco drum. It uh, feeds off of it really well, heats up good. And we can do that each day for two days in a row. Then we have to skip a day, let the eco drum catch up. On that catch up day, we may add a little bit more wood shavings, depending on if it needs it or not. Um, and then on the fourth day, start over do the bin of waste and the bin of shavings again. And we get that in there by eviscerating beef into a punch truck, which is a low lying wheelbarrow. And we lift that up then with the hoist and dump it into a self-dumping hopper. Uh, the self-dumping hopper we use is just a heavy duty one yard steel self-dumping hopper. Uh, we load them up. As they get filled during slaughter day, we push them into the inedible room. Um, at the end of slaughter day when we're done, when cleanup starts, we push those to, to the overhead door where we grab them with the forklift. We take them with the forklift to the back. And there we put a layer of shavings on top. The layer of shavings prevents flies and birds and so on from becoming interested in that material and also prevents odors while that stuff's waiting to go into the composter. And we found in summer, that stuff can sit in a bin outside with shavings on top. It can sit in there for up to a week and then you just dump it in and start the whole process over again. I would say our satisfaction level is very high with the EcoDrum uh, and probably high enough that we'll be getting another one. If we get another eco drum, which we have room for in our pole barn, uh, then we'll be able to do all of our waste from the store as well, uh, instead of our current disposal methods, which are expensive and not as environmentally friendly as what we're doing now. Um, I would say to somebody that's looking for a waste disposal answer, um, solution to the waste disposal problem, whatever you want to call it, definitely take a look at this thing. And if you can, find someone that's using it. Um, and if you can find someone that's using one, and go and see how they're using it, and how it's working for them, that's going to be your real answer. And then, uh, by how they're doing, you would know if it's right for you.